What's up guys? It's Mini P here today. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make an oil, which I'm gonna be using for exercising my olfactory system because I'd had COVID a couple months back and my smell and my taste is still not back yet. It's really, really faint still, so I really wanna exercise and I've been looking up different ingredients we could use. So what we're gonna be using today is cinnamon. We're gonna be using cloves and rose petals. And for our base, you could either use grapeseed oil or you could use coconut oil. I'm using grapeseed oil today. So we got a jar. I'm gonna be using one cup. So I measured one cup. It should be good. We're gonna add the ingredients. The cloves, you can use one spoon. Actually, we're gonna use, for one full cup, you use two spoons. So. Throw it all in there. We're gonna use the cinnamon, we're gonna crush it all up together. That's fine. And the rose petals can stay like that. So I'm gonna be using this. want to get it grinded super fine well the clothes mostly because you can't grind down the cinnamon all the way down but we're going to try to break it up as much as we can let's go hard <laughs> it's my first time. Okay. These clothes are really hard to break down. But that should be fine. You just, you don't want them to be completely full. You want to break them down a little bit. All right. It should be good. So we're going to throw all of these in there. What we want to do is get it all in there and let it sit for a while. If you want to use it right away, that's fine too, but it's not going to be the same. It's not going to have the same effect, same properties. So what Basically, we do is put everything in here. We let it sit in a dark room, or if you have dark jars, the amber jars are even better. You want to keep it stored in a cool place, in a dry place. And we're going to let it sit. And when it's done, guess what we do, guys? We get a strainer, one of the cloth ones, small ones. So we can get all this out, okay? And that's how you do it. Have a beautiful day.